the first rule of the Church of Christ is you must have the Holy Spirit to understand. The Holy Spirit is our comforter. The Holy Spirit is our interpreter. We respect the Holy Spirit. Say it with me. Lord Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Please come into my heart. I make you Lord of my life. All right. Now, in the wilderness, when people tested God, he allowed fiery serpents to bite them. And then, he had someone lift up a snake and it healed them to remind them, to remind them of what you say. I'm a healer. Now, <clears throat> I've been um, feeling out what's going on in people and feeling what's going on in their hearts. And I am able to do that because I have you right here. So do not fear. Now I checked out of this same room and the Holy Spirit said just walk out and I walked out and I was promised many things and the time came for those things to come to fruition and I was standing outside in the cold it's very slight don't worry about it I did everything step by step with the Spirit because when you get yourself stuck you have to live day by day. You have to wait for the narrow path to be revealed. So that's what I've been doing. And when I was in another city before I got to whatever that was, <clears throat> I had uh, built David's tabernacle. That was the instructions that the Holy Spirit gave me. And a lot of things happened, and I ended up homeless for five days. And in that five days, I was gone, walking through the streets with God showing me everything that's happening in the spiritual realm behind the scenes. And I was praying about it and the Spirit said that was a portion of what it's gonna be like for always. So you're ready for it now. And it was awesome. Aside from the being homeless thing, it was awesome. So, part of me has been feeling it out slowly, like, is it going to change back to that drab, boring, cold, with no love type of world? Because in that city... People were happy to see me. In that city, there was a lot of respect. In that city, there was love. And it was like I had angels undercover in supermarkets or wherever I went. And it was, it's the least I can do. It's my pleasure. The honor is mine. So, <clears throat> when I left this room, the pilgrim did not show up. I 
Imagine a city where they actually don't want me to leave and they're not pretending. So it's the same exact room and the spirit said, there's your confirmation. If God did not want you on the throne at the Red Lion Inn, you wouldn't be in the same exact room. So, hallelujah, right? I'm a good king. I am. You just have to trust me. I'm helping you guys out with so much right now. I'm slowing down to walk you out of what you got stuck in, okay? So, <clears throat> I walk outside and I'm waiting. And I had gotten involved with... Um, some people that were supposed to help me and they're reaching out and they're opening all kinds of doors, right? And involving me in it, which usually I do not appreciate. But I was like, okay, I'm gonna let these people save me, basically. I wanna see if they do. And if you can't help me, but you tried, and it's just, there's too much that, well, there's never a situation where there's too much. There's just, you are not um, trained to find the open doors and things like that. I'm not going to be any type of upset with you. You tried. If I wanted the door open, it would have been opened. I like closed doors. So I slowed way down and I let everybody help me. I didn't do anything. I just went step by step with the spirit. What do you want me to do? Text this person. Okay. Go from there. Okay. You want me to try that? No. Wait. Okay, now try that. And then that puts you on a path. And if the door opens and the spirit tells you go through it, then you go through it. That's it. That's where you're supposed to be. So this is exactly where I'm supposed to be. Because navigating this world for uh, me and my angels has been very difficult because the people that could help us did not appreciate the true light. It was sensed, and unless something was done, they would not help us. So I was sitting down with one of my angels, and they've been testing me. And one thing that happened in uh, the last city I dwelled in, when I was gone, <clears throat> I could hear this little feminine, uh, not audible voice, but it was a different thought than mine. <clears throat> and I know my thoughts. And then I know when I'm uh, hearing and perceiving other people's thoughts. So this is how I've walked with a lot of people. And I've been teaching a lot of people, especially my angels, when that happens, wait for my voice. And my angels will ramble sometimes. <clears throat> and a lot of people won't understand them, but I do. And they will do it because they're hiding. So I wait until I hear my voice in them. And then I answer them. And a lot of them didn't quite recognize me and they were very um, perturbed that I found them. And they did not know if this was gonna be a pleasant encounter 
And it is always, for now on, for always, for always, for always. Or were they going to get chewed out? <clears throat> and one thing that was explained to me They don't want me to drink anymore. <laughs> it's, it's like something that they're um, not really fully understanding, but they don't want me to drink anymore. And they don't understand, but they do because they'll tell you he uses it as a tool and it's not pleasant. And a lot of times, the other angels that I visited, it was not pleasant for them, but I gave them a chance. <sighs> so me and um, my angel, we were walking to the store and a guy walks up and says, I've got liquor for cheap, dirt cheap. And the spirit said, no. So I said, no. Now I had some money to buy it, but the spirit said, no. I said, no, I'm that simple. And he didn't want any. So it's like, okay. <sighs> So it's going to stay like this for always. And what my angels need to understand is that was for war. And we were sitting down having a conversation and my angel was rambling to hide. Because my angels can also pop too. And they can have a straightforward conversation as well but we like to speak our language when we're, and if my angels are rambling, it's because they don't really want to talk to you. So they all want their spouse. And I've been telling them your spouse is on the way or your spouse is in your life. And I was, Praying about it, as I pray about everything, I do everything step by step. And a lot of my angels got wrapped up in different versions of things related to Jesus. And I am don't know how everybody got so mixed up, but they did. <clears throat> well, I do know why. It's because you guys live some lavish lives. <laughs> you guys had it pretty good. Some say, no, I did it. And I'm, I'm like, I spoiled you. <clears throat> had some hard times, too, to make you strong. But... We were in some pretty dark times and we were perceived as the enemy. But in other lifetimes and other lifetimes and other lifetimes, yes, you did live some lavish lives. <clears throat> but not evil lives. And kings and queens, things like that. Like, I get it. <clears throat> Promises kept. Now, what we're doing right now 
is we are working together. So how I got back into the same exact room is important and I'm going to explain it. This is how we work. And this is why it's so much fun and it's enjoyable and it's much easier if we work together. We help each other out. All right. So <clears throat> spirit says, call my earthly dad. And I did. And I had a quick conversation with him. I explained, hey, this guy's coming to pick me up. I'll let you know what's going to happen because he's one of my angels and I'm ready for him to be consistently involved in things. So <clears throat> all of this was already planned out. I just arrived at the moment where he was needed. But it has to be done with the proper royal etiquette, which is you have a choice. So I explain the situation with my wife, what's going on and my main goal and he is a godly man. He is a Christian. And he gives me advice, and I leave it at that. And while I'm outside, <clears throat> Spirit says, wait here. So I wait there. And I'm waiting, and the Spirit says, just wait. And I'm waiting. And I look over, and there's my angel walking right to me. I'm like, okay. So we talk, and he lets me stay in his room for a second to stay warm. He's like, okay. He's like, please, just come in my room. All right. Then about 30 minutes later, I get a text message. There's an MTCN number, and it's done. I take that money. Go up to the stairs, says, go and use that and get a room. Because you have money, and there's all kinds of things you could do with it. And I'm asking, what do you want me to do with it? Pay for another night. All right, for God's glory. And then it's done. So I go to the front desk, and the guy explains, that's the only room we have. So... You have to stay in the same room you're in. I was like, okay. And then he held it for me. I went across the street where everything is conveniently located. Didn't need a bus, didn't need transportation, nothing. There's a Western Union, pick it up. <clears throat> Get the room. Then went back to ministering and the spirit's like, this is your friend. So, my angels <laughs> are amazing. That's all I could say. They're amazing. And then the spirit was like, okay, go make this video. So that's what I'm doing right now. So, <clears throat> that's how you get unstuck. Okay? You have to take it day by day. You should be taking it day by day anyway. But you're taking it day by day until you get home. I have to take it day by day until I have the keys to me and my wife's new home. So that is what I'm doing. And I was praying and waiting for her basically to wake up. And then I heard her. She is in the same exact woman that I married. That's her. That's you. So we both tested each other. And the spirit was revealing things to her and revealing things to me. 
So I passed her test with flying colors because I stuck to the scripture to the letter. And then I learned everything that I need to heal in regards to her and her overall happiness. And that's love. And I left her testimonies and I left her stories and gave her time to think because I told her And all of this is a surprise for her, which I planned out <laughs> before creation. But specifically in this day and age, I got the okay about 17 years ago. So, <clears throat> A lot had to happen in order for things to make sense. And once things make sense and you accept it as truth, then you are free. Not free from me, not free from anything that I'm doing to you. You are free from your own fears, your own hurts, and your own doubts which are understandable unless you know me very, very well. But things can get convoluted as well. So both of us had to live it in order to understand what really happened. It's not that we had amnesia. We promised to do it together. So we did that. And my angels, you and your spouse are the same exact way. So make sure you slow down, do things day by day, the way I taught you. I will keep you in perfect peace. I hear you and I feel you and it's okay. Because once all of this light in us is bouncing around the way it used to be, the perfect design. You don't even know what happiness is. Okay? It's part of your reward. All right. I love you.